All right, we are live. This is going to be the good time now. <laughs> um, just let me know down in the comment if the sound quality is good. I've switched to my um, my my uh, my microphone that I can wear and not using my headset anymore. So I think sound should be better. <laughs> Scott Johnson says, there's the drawing with the force pool of PL you've received because um, last week I did I did an unboxing video and that was very, very embarrassing. I, I opened up the box and there was no filament dryer and it was PLA spools so from Sunlu. So I, I went back to Sunlu and said, hey, I, I don't I don't get it. I I was supposed to get filament dryers and all I got was uh, filament spools and they said, well, you didn't know, but we sent you two packages. One is spools and uh, the second one is the filament dryer. So one day later, the filament dryer was at my door. And uh, this time I took a couple seconds to open the box, to make sure it was really the filament dryer. It is. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's unbox this. It, it should be interesting to see because, um, well, first of all, let me just read a couple of the specs that they've shared, shared with me, sorry. It's supposed to be a four spool filament dryer. So, well, you can place as many spools as you want, but maximum of four, which is going to be kind of cool because you can, yeah, dry more filament at the same time. It should be fast eating using PTC heating design. Should be safer, they say. Only takes 30 minutes to warm up from 25 to 50 Celsius. So that's going to be okay. Uh, balanced temperature inside the box, built-in three fans. I've had Sun Lu dryers before and none of them had fan. Um, I think I had the first model. I didn't have the S2, the second model. So I'm, I'm happy to see that there are fans now because that's what you need inside a, a dryer. Um, what else they say? Three fans, of course. Um, can dry all kinds of filaments such as PLA, ABS, TPU, P. PTG, PA, polycarbonate, and so on. Um, though I'm, I'm questioning this, this, um, this sentence here because it says it can heat up 25 to 50 Celsius. And 50 Celsius might be on the low side for more high temp material. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, it's still going to dry. It might take a bit more time. So, um, newly added intelligent humidity control mode. Prevent drying supplies after the second moisture. So, box humidity over 50% will automatically start drying function until the humidity drops to 20%. Um, that, is, that is cool. Though, I have other filament dryer here in the back. Uh, one, of me on, one on each of my printer and they can go, I think, as low as 10%. But 20% should be sufficient so let's just start and i say hi to all of you guys i'm i'm happy to see you here today i'm a little sick i don't know i've eaten something uh today and it's not it's not going well so um, i'm not gonna make this one very long but we're gonna unbox it let's switch camera um so we can see the box um sorry i was on the other camera <laughs> all the all the time sorry wrong camera let's switch back to the good camera showing all right the box we're ready to do this so um, I'm gonna use this knife and just open it up it's a big box I mean the film and dryer looks kind of big and it's looks like it's well packed i i only opened it up just to make sure it was a filling dryer i kind of just lift lifted the the foam and i said okay there's a filling dryer in there so <laughs> that that's about all i did i didn't take a look at the unit yet but here it is let me see there's nothing more in the box and that's what it looks like Hold on, knife. There we go. All right. Well, that looks 
That looks like a nice box. Oh, there's a little thank you, dear friend. Thank you very much for your support to Sun Lu. Congratulations. Just for information, um, Sun Lu sent this unique to me for free. Though um, it's it's not going to be a review. I'm just going to show it up to you because I think I think it looks good. It's uh, it's better than than what it used to be. So here you have it. This is your 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 power um, in the back power connector. Does it come? It should be somewhere in the box. Let me, unless it's inside, how do you open up that thing? Um, here's your two. Hold on. Let me cancel my tracking on the camera. There we go. So you have two um, filament exit on this side. And I guess there's, yeah, two more on the other side for your force pulls. And you have a nice, LCD right here and it look, looks kind of cool looks very good so I guess um, now how do you open that up how do you open this guy up where's the door oh there's something right here nope that's the you open it up at the bottom that's better <laughs> Sorry, I, it was upside down. That, that's why I, I couldn't find the entry. So one door, two doors. And is there any ceiling? I want to see if there's any kind of ceiling or seal right there. Uh, doesn't look like it. No rubber, but um, it can do its job. I mean, there's not really a need for a seal there. It has to at least have some kind of exhaust somewhere so it can um, remove moisture so let's see what's inside here we obviously got the power cord <laughs> yeah the logo was upside down I should have taken a look at that first so what's inside we have the user guide we have um, a, two PTFE lines your standard PTFE lines um, you can cut them in in and two so that's going to give you four and there is the power cord and inside the box looks like there is some rollers at the bottom those are bearings yep bearings inside I'm not too sure if you can see this try to focus here so you have bearings so the filament spool will um, roll just free this is a uh, um, yeah, you can see the fan at the bottom. There's one fan here, and I'll try to take a better angle for you later. And I'm going to post more pictures online also, so we can see better. So on the other side as well, there are, um, let me crank more light. There we go. So yeah, a fan on each side, four rollers, and, um, there's a, a couple plastic we're gonna have to remove to to make it run so let me just connect the power on and see what that LCD looks like power on right here um, this one I'm gonna remove it power up that sucker and we light it up see what's gonna happen oh fancy oh, hold on hold on let me turn the power off again because i think the lcd will only light up when um you touch it well, let me turn this the power switch on so yeah power switch is on but there's nothing happening but you click, you, I don't see, I don't know if you see this. On the front here, there's kind of a power button. <laughs> oh, fancy. And you can hear those fans. I don't know how good you'll hear that. It is not the quietest filament dryer I've seen, but it looks damn good. I like it. Good job, Sun Lu, on this one. You have their 
new logo on the side. There's one logo on each side. And uh, let's try to put a spool inside. Do I have one right here? How does it fit? So I've, I've used one of the biggest spool I have and um, there's enough space for it. So that's good. I think it's going to fit most fill. Oh, you can already feel the heat coming out. So that's good. It, it's, it's powerful. I'm going to have to test how much um, watts or power it can draw because it looks like it's, it's heating quite a lot. So you have your um, let me try to bring it closer. All right. So I guess you can... Oh, look at that. 50. They said it won't go more than 50 Celsius. It shows 70. Aha. Uh -huh. So that, that's better than I thought. I, 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 I like it because I print a lot of ABS, a lot of ASA, polycarbonate lot more stuff than than PLA so that that's cool that's cool to see 70 Celsius right now you have your temperature control 41 Celsius on this side and on the right side I don't know how you switch or is that yeah I think it's for both sides on the other side you have your humidity meter which is good and this is not touched so set oh I see it we, we can set it based on on different material so that would be um, for PLA. I'll drop it back to maybe 50. And how do you change the kind of filament? Well, there's a there's a user manual, <laughs> so that's that's going to be good. But I, I like it overall. Sounds pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's not too big, so it can fit on on a desk right next to a printer. It is not too tall as well of course it's going to be bigger than, than the two ones that i use i don't have enough space so that's going to be more mostly used to to heat up my my filament and keep i don't know if we can keep them dry inside once it's shut down i don't know i'm gonna to have to test that we'll see how the the moisture will will stay once it's powered off but so far i i like that thing it looks good um, would have been nice to add some some LED inside just to be able to, to see what's inside the box. Um, I don't I don't think there's any. That would be a cool addition to this product. So that's it for now. I'm gonna have to read on how you. Oh, there we go. I I think you can change. Nah. This is to set temperature. But yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we can we can change um, PLA. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you see this. Fancy. Haha. <laughs> uh, I was wrong. There are kind of LEDs inside. I don't know if they can be uh, changed in terms of color. I, I would think no because it matches the logo, the Sun logo. But it, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I like that. Yep, looks very good. So that was it. I'm going to put this guy to the test and see um, later if, if that thing works. But I, I think this one's going to be their, probably their, their best dryer so far. Because, yeah, just, just by the sound, just by the feel of it, how much heat and how it now adds fan and it circulates the air inside. Good job. I have no idea again on how it's gonna cost but it's gonna be something available with a Kickstarter they say so I don't have anything uh, will it fit a 3 kg spool I I, <laughs> I highly doubt it it's gonna fit well maybe if it's one that is wider but not like taller if that's how I can describe that it will probably fit um, you see in here so it's it's wide enough it's just the height is just a, a so see it as it like that so 
it won't fit anything that is wider but if it's i mean taller but if it's wider yeah probably gonna fit it so let me shut that sucker down so that's a good one let me go back to the chat and see if there's any other um question where's my obs i'm gonna switch to my face and i'm here all righty so what do you guys think does it look good i think it looks good um will it work good i i think it will work good so it all depends on the price tag on this one if that's going to be um good for 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 people or how expensive it will be we will see uh, i don't have a date i don't know when they're going to release it but um uh, does this dry two spools it can dry four spools which is cool that's why they call it i i think that's why they call it the s4 or is it because this is the fourth release of their dryer but in any case four spools at the same time um so that's that's cool that's that's a good feature though four spools mean it's going to be quite big but it's not that big it still fits nicely on on a table so a nice addition to a print farm or for someone that has multiple printers or for someone that um yeah likes to dry a multiple filament spool at once and you have something to store them once they dried out so yeah the highest temperature is 70c i don't know they sent me i'm gonna have to correct that on on the youtube uh, uh description because uh they told me 50 celsius but it is really going to 70 celsius which is better than 50 so at 70 you can you can you can dry i think you could dry polycarbonate might take a bit longer um the one i have can go all the way i think 85 degree but 70 should be should be enough to dry most filaments so hey uh, ted ted last man i i i never know i never know how to pronounce that but hi buddy glad to see you there so anyway, that, that was it for uh, the unboxing. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's just wait for Sunlu to put the, ta the, the price tag on it. Let's launch their, their Kickstarter. If it will be on Kickstarter, that's what they say. So, oh, I forgot to mention here at the top. So um, you have your, 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 um, your PTFE lines that on each side. There's two there, but you can also have them come out from the top. There are two there and two there. So you can either have it from the top or from the side, which is which is nice. Um, better than to be forced on. Let me show you on this camera. So you have, yeah, the top ones and the side ones. So that's eight possible ways to, you know, push your filament out. Um, it can feed, obviously, four printers at the same time. So, yeah, very good. Very good. Sunlu. What's it? We're going to simplify your creation. Ooh, simplify your creation. All right. So, um, if nobody has any questions on this, well, even if you'd have questions, I don't know what to answer. So, <laughs> um, that will be it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching this one. And, um, yeah, we'll see you soon on another maybe a live stream or another video. So take care, guys, and um, stay hydrated. All right, have a good